Hey there and welcome to the Naudemi video tutorial series. Today you will be learning JavaScript functions and some types of functions in JavaScript like simple function, parameterized function, on-click functions and a function scope also. So what is function in JavaScript? Functions are one of the fundamental building blocks in JavaScript. A function is a JavaScript procedure or simply a set of statements that performs some task or calculate some value. A function definition, also known as function declaration, consists of this function keyword followed by the name of the function and the keyword over here and the name of the function is here and the list of parameters that are enclosed in a parenthesis and there the statement that defines the whole function that what is going on in this function and then we call this function. Let's try to make it more clear by some code examples. Here I have a function over here followed by the function keyword and the name is calculate. It has a parameters. Parameters are used as an input or a placeholder that will be giving some input later in the function statement. And then this return keyword will return the calculated results of these both variables. Then I call this function outside of this function with the function name and the parenthesis. And the parameter is replaced by the input value. This three will be stored inside this number variable and will be calculated to the three. Now the result will be six. Now save and go to the browser. Alert says six. Let's take another type of functions that we use in JavaScript. Here I've created another function called sum function. I have created a global variable outside of this function with the value of outer variable. Then inside this function, I've created the same variable sum values with the another value of inner variable. And I've alerted this variable. Then I've called this function outside of this function. Then again, I've called the same variable outside of this function. Now here we are going to check the precedence of the global and local variable. Save it and go to the browser. It says first the inner variable, then outer variable. So this was the example of a variable scope in a function. Let's try to do some other examples of function in a JavaScript. Here I've created another function called message that have a random message from alert. Now this function is going to be called upon this click function. Whenever I click on this button, this will call this message function and will call this random message from alert. Save and go to the browser, click on the button and now the function is being called upon this click on function. So this was a simple example of on click function. Now we will see other examples of on click function. Here I have another function called func with a function keyword and I have created some parameters inside this. Now this function is going to be called upon this onClick function. Here I have assigned two parameters or two inputs to this function that is going to be replaced with these two parameters inside this function. Now these two parameters will be calculated and the result will be alert. Now let's see the result. Save and go to the browser. Click on this function. Now the sum is 7 because 2 plus 5 is 7. Here I've created another function called fun and created a global variable outside of this function initially equals to 0. Then I've created a for loop. Inside this for loop, I've created a variable i initially equals to 0. Now while this i is less than this list of parameters, this will keep incrementing by 1 and then each value will be assigned to this i variable from this list of array. Once the value is assigned to this variable, it will keep assigning the values to this count variable. Now I have called this count variable outside of this function inside an alert method with the string concatenation. Let's see the output. Save and go to the browser. Click on this button. Now the result is 12 because these values will be summed to each and other. So the result is 12. So this was the simple examples of using the JavaScript function in multiple ways. Thank you so much for watching. See you again.